Well, right now we are in Child Abuse Prevention Month, and earlier today I checked in with Becky Riles to find out about ways you can help. She is with the New Hope Child Advocacy Center out of Blunt County. We are talking about child abuse prevention, and I think that something that people don't really understand maybe is how do you prevent child abuse? Well, I'm the prevention coordinator with New Hope Blunt County Children's Advocacy Center, and we provide the Stewards of Children training, which was developed by Darkness to Light organization out of Charleston, South Carolina. And what this is, it's a free two hour training that teaches all adults how to recognize and prevent child sexual abuse. So in the training, you learn the what to look for, um, what to do when a child discloses, how to react. Um, it gives you tips on internet safety, um, what to do with your children in regard to that. You also get to hear the stories of eight survivors. The Blunt County Mayor has made this month now Child Abuse Prevent Awareness Month. Any special trainings you're doing during this time or anything you've got planned for this month now that it is a designation? Um, yes, absolutely. It's actually a national um, Child Abuse Prevention Month. So we had asked Mayor Mitchell if he would make the proclamation for Blount County. So we're, um, I contacted people throughout our community to plant a pinwheel garden. And this was started in 2008 by Prevent Child Abuse America. And so whoever wants to do this is given 20 blue pinwheels. And out of the 20 blue pinwheels, one of them will be silver. And what that denotes is one in 10 children will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. And we wanted that visual representation of this. So I delivered 2,300 pinwheels throughout Blunt County. Hey, one of the things I always really like to ask people who do jobs like what you do, you really have to be passionate about what you're doing when you're doing a job like this. What made you get into this line of work? Why do you do what you do? Well. When we moved to um, Tennessee, uh, we had a five-year-old that was 20 years ago, and I wanted to get involved. And a friend of mine told me we were just starting Blount County Children's Advocacy Center. And I started out, I was on the board. I was board president. I was past president of the board. I became a volunteer, and the agency is so important to this community and I just felt that and I just have continued on and I was offered the position of prevention coordinator and I said yes. And um, so we're very fortunate in that um, also and proud of the fact that we have trained, we have hit our tipping point. So we have trained 5% of the Blount County population in how to prevent and recognize child sexual abuse. And we can see more about that over on the six things to go tab that is on WATE.com right now. If you'd like to get a pinwheel or if you'd like to find out how you can get involved with this awareness effort over in Blunt County, head over to WATE.com right now. Click on the six things to go box.